Hi, Dave Titus here. When I was in Alaska one time, an elder, Rita Blumenstein, said, in the mornings I should look like this, bright-eyed. But she said, before I've had my coffee, I usually look like this. But after I've had my coffee, I can put on my glasses. I can put on a big smile. And my heart starts to beat. Isn't that wonderful? It's difficult, but let's try it. Thumbs, little fingers, index, index. Now, thumbs are going to go in here and take it out. Thumbs will be in my little fingers. Keep them up high and take the fingers out. And I'm going to come for this string, the straight one here, and this one, the straight one down here. My little fingers will come under, under two strings, push them out of the way, and the top string pull down, 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 and keep your hand pulling down. These two fingers are going to come Rub the thumb, come down, in, come in, and push these two out of the way for that straight string, and twirl it out and take my thumbs out. Those are the eyes. Now, there's one string on top, on the very top, and my thumb goes on for that string right here. And my other thumb is going for the one, probably the one on top. Do you see how it's not wrapped around anything? See how it's not wrapped around that one. And then I'm going to put my thumbs together. Now, I don't want to put them together so that I have an X here. I want to put them together right first. Then this is open in the middle. And Navajo, put my thumbs in here, take the two off, and drop my index fingers. And, oh, there are the baggy eyes. The baggy eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, put my index where my thumbs are. And don't pull apart, just pull them up. Don't pull them apart like that. You want them to be kind of together. Mm -hmm. So one thumb will come in and get these two on the thumb and pull them out. The other thumb, see, one thumb gets these and one thumb gets these. This one, these, and I pull those thumbs out. And again, this time I don't put them together. Take this off, off, drop my index fingers, and I have a heart. Now, to take it apart, I hold these. Oh, let's try it again. In fact, hold your hands up and say, this is tough stuff. I like tough stuff. 
If it was baby stuff, I wouldn't like it. It's not worth a hissy fit. Whew. Thumbs in with the index, take them off. Thumbs up with the little fingers, take them off, but keep it up high. Little fingers from under, under, push these two out of the way and get the top one, pull it down, all the way down. Then these two fingers, like pinch your scissors, rub in, in, Push these out of the way and pinch, twirl these out. Take your thumbs out at the same time. Oh. Now, this top one, always that one, my thumb in it. Usually, my thumb on the top one, I look to see, oh yeah, it's not wrapped around that one. Then right thumb over, left thumb in. See how it's open here? And Navajo, drop my index and oh, baggy, baggy eyes. Then don't pull them apart. Just put your fingers in and kind of open the eyes like that. One thumb gets these. One thumb gets these. One thumb like this. One thumb like this. It takes practice. And then oh, Navajo again. Navajo again. Drop my index. Oh, what a beautiful heart. Yes. And I can take it apart like this. One more time. You may have to watch this more than one time. Do you know it took me a long time to learn some of these? One string figure took me one year to learn. Oh. And there is more to this story. This is a very ancient story from Alaska about two grandmothers who were camping and they were catching animals to make, to get the skins for parkas for their grandchildren. When they divided the skins, well, they were sitting around a campfire cooking catfish, see the fish mouth, the catfish whiskers. They were cooking catfish or burbot, they call it. And they had been collecting skins. They started to fight. They had one extra skin. And one grandmother said, 
I should have it my granddaughter's taller. But my grandson's bigger. But my granddaughter's taller. My grandson is bigger. And the two old women started to fight. They started to pull each other's hair and they pulled it out. And they looked at all the hair in the ground and said, oh no, what would people say? So they took the hairs and they threw them up into the trees. And if you go to the Northlands or the high country of Colorado, and you look at the, two at the pine trees, there are gray and white hairs. It's from the two old women. And then they looked at each other and they had no hair on their heads. They couldn't go back to the village. So they flew up into the trees and became eagles. Bald eagles. Now you know why we have bald eagles. One more time to show you the eagles. Now, I put my fingers back in here, and these two strings, I put them, my thumbs together. I do it the other way this time, left, right. If I do it the other way, it's all twisted here, so. I do it so it's not twisted, so this is open. And then Navajo. Ah, oh, the two women are starting to fight. They're fighting, 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 and oh, they pulled out each other's hair. And they looked, and they threw the hair up in the trees. But they didn't have hair on their heads, so they flew up into the trees and became eagles, bald eagles. You may have to watch it again and again. Things take time, don't they? Thanks for watching.